white trash and rednecks. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, because we are now halfway through the 30 band Royal Rumble. The following reaction video is scheduled for one fall, featuring group number 15 of 30 for our 30 band Royal Rumble extravaganza. So, what better way to bring this out? Because, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to go through you uh, the list right now of exactly who has come before. We've had Whitechapel, Possessed, Green Day, Testament, Tool, MCR, Megadeth, Pearl Jam, Iron Maidens, Soul Gardens, Scorpions, Kiss, Tomb Mold, and Killswitch Engage. Who the hell we're gonna get next? Fuck me, I have absolutely no idea, but you know what? It's very, very exciting. <laughs> oh boy, I think I've just about killed it and at least got rid of like half of my subs already, so let's see if we can get rid of just about all of them by the time this video is over. <laughs> oh dear. So, entrant number 15 of, six, of 30 is on its way in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and activate. Hey, hey, mama said the way you move gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. Hey, hey. 
Yo, 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 ladies and gentlemen, that was Black Dog by Led Ze Did you see the, the cover of Rolling Stone that had uh, Led Zeppelin on the front? At least, I, at least, I think that was meant to be Jimmy Page and uh, Robert Plant. But tell me why Led Zeppelin is, like, squeezed at, like, the bottom corner. And, guys, this the world in 1971, 49 years ago, the State of the Union did Nixon wit legally win the 68 election, and they're freaking advertising uh, the new Bob Dylan album. Why was... Can I just ask, can I just make a very very uh, simple point right now? Why was I? I mean I know how again how popular the Rolling Stones really were, but why was this co was the Rolling Stone uh, did did Mick Jagger and Keith Richards name the group after the magazine or were the magazine named after the Rolling Stones? That's well, I think it's more I think it's more I'm thinking more it's more likely that the. Uh, that the magazine came first and just uh, Jagger and uh, Richards may have took the idea or maybe a studio just gave them the idea. But if it were up to me, they would call the Rolling Stone, they should call it the Zeppelin. Because I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie, and you know how much I love my Rolling Stones, but oh my goodness, it just in comparison to Led Zeppelin... I think I'm now re now beginning to see exactly what people are talking about. And also, as to why I heard the stories about why Led Zeppelin were more or less exiled from the UK. So, because i got to say this right now, again, maybe I'm going off on a tangent, but I feel like I'm not. If the friggin' Rolling Stones released Black Dog on Exile on Main Street... They would have the entire world kissing their feet. Even the Hells Angels might have took a slightly less violent approach while they're on tour in the US if they did this. Even even freaking John Lennon himself would probably have said, Brothers, you've done us all proud in that. Here, yeah, we'll get you down the, down the chip here and we'll give you a, a nice uh, spot of brief. I don't even know what brief is. I'm, I'm literally doing my... Uh, what What's it called? Uh... Improvisation scouts, uh, just to uh, and me and Yoko will give you a bunch of this fine LSD we got from this man behind a skip again. 1971, you, you, you get the idea. <laughs> oh boy, now that's one, and again, I'll go further. Genesis, if the if Genesis released a song like this on selling England by the pound, exact same thing. The whole world will be literally bowing to them, <laughs> because that's those are generally the two. Unless there's anyone else I can think of at the moment, Stone Genesis, especially around about this time. No, I don't think there would have been anyone else who would have just said, "Dude, these guys have just about done it all." But mind you, that's that's just one side of it because Robert Plant, just the way he. He 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 doesn't scream. He sing. He freaking screams like he's letting the whole world know what's going on. Hey, hey, mama said the way you're gonna move, gonna make you sweat, gonna make you groove. And this, and there is a little bit of context about this. If you didn't get, watch your honey drip. I can't keep her. I'm going to assume uh, this. Uh, that watch your honey drip. I. At, at the risk of me getting demonetized, well, it's probably already too late, but let's just say she's leaving puddles in her wake, and it's not just because it's raining or if, if you get my if you get my drift. Okay, so now with that horrible image uh, thoroughly screwed into everyone's brains, there's a few other things I wanted to go over. The fact that this this lady is literally the gold digger to pretty much end all diggers because I got a roll I can't stand still got a flaming heart can't get my fill eyes that shine burning red dreams of you all through my head this guy is friggin he's not I would say Robert is not obsessed with this lady who will give him anything he wants if the price is right but he doesn't technically miss it he misses the sex between them he doesn't really miss this lady he just misses her body more than anything, and 
I think they are both fully aware of this because I don't know. It's it seems pretty. It seems like fairly obvious with the likes of all I ask for, all I pray. Steady rolling woman gonna come my way. I she hasn't come yet. AKA, in fact, actually, is it even fair to call this woman like a gold digger? Because it sounds like Robert isn't exactly the most really the innocent in all of this. Take too long for I found out. Well, actually, that might change things. What people mean by down and out. Spent my money, took my car. Started telling her friend she gonna be a star. I don't know, but I've been told a bit le a big legged woman ain't got no soul. Seems like a fairly uh, chauvinistic view of it, but I don't know. Maybe he maybe he sort of like realized that she took just about everything for him, and now she's. Done a, done a runner, you might want to say, shooting the moon, as it were, for people who are otherwise down and out. Down and out literally means if uh, you're almost pretty much close to being homeless, more or less. Now, technically that is sort of like one side to it, but also apparently uh, this song was just about this, this Labrador that just wandered around the studio when Led Zeppelin were... Did, did, like, this dog belong to anyone? Was it, did it belong to Jimmy Page? Did it belong to, uh, Jones? Did it belong to Bonham? Did it, did, did this dog belong to anybody? Or was it just, like, the studios? What studio is freaking just gonna have, have a, a, be a beautiful black Labrador? I'm going to assume it's, what, have you guys ever met a, an ugly Labrador? That is absolutely just not how it is. You know what? Exactly. I'm, I'm just freaking looking at pictures of Labradors right now. There is absolutely no way in hell you would not want one of those. They are absolutely beautiful dogs. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> wow. Think about that, ladies and gentlemen. We've gone from a from a Robert Plant going jazzy, going all sir, all uh, soul and sweetness and light, to talk about a gold digger. And now talking about Labradors of all things, pet dogs. Although it's, where was this? Uh, uh, was it like where was it recorded at? I want to find out what studio it was. Uh, uh, what what was this? Where was this studio where they were filming this? Because uh, covered by, interpreted, sampled. Uh, doesn't really say anything about what studio that was. Was this meant to be like, uh, view or credits? What? Where was? I'm, I'll tell you what. I'll do. I'll do this. Um, the, where was the studio? Where? Where Led Zeppelin recorded? Recorded. It was the album was called Four. So, uh, recorded at uh, Healy uh, Grange in Hampshire, Island Studios in London, and Sunset Studio. Well, basically around a bunch of places that I'm probably going to assume that maybe it was filmed in Island Studios or something like that. I don't know. They said, like, maybe maybe the, maybe this dog was hanging around for years and maybe it was on set when they were recording in, like, their third or their second album or something like that. Again, this is only a rough idea, but it seems like, well, I, th I think more than anything, just maybe there was just a dog just lying about the place. Because you have to remember, studios uh, back in the uh, the set, the early the late sixties and early seventies are not quite the uh, the establishments we know them right know them today. Certainly, you wouldn't really have any dogs uh, lying about the place. And yes, you need to like sample them. That 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 didn't come out right at all for uh, sound effects. I meant more or less. <laughs> oh dear, it's. I guess, ladies and gentlemen, this is just another slice of life. Robert Plant wanted a bird. He ended up with a dog. Not just any dog, a bird dog. And this uh, little birdie flew away. Well, given the size of her legs, I'm going to assume she couldn't have flew very far before she, like, sank into the pond and drowned, which is not unlike, uh, you see those gangsters when they, like, put people's feet in concrete or literally anchor them to the bottom of the ocean. I swear to God, my psychosis is getting worse. I can literally now hear banging coming through the floor. 
I don't know, maybe give it about 50 years, ladies and gentlemen, and maybe this entire room will be about as much state as whatever studio they found this uh, poor dog in. But that was that was that was really really fun. I had I had a fun time, and I hope you guys have enjoyed your time as well. Now, if excuse me, I'm gonna look, go look into adopting uh, a, a black Labrador. So anyway, I, and I'm I'll tell you what, I'll adopt a Labrador and I'll call it Zep or I'll call it Plant or maybe Paige. Maybe I'll do I, I, a dog. I think a dog named Plant or a dog named Zep sounds actually a little bit cooler. <laughs> so anyway. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reaction video. Please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section down below. And if not, you guys thought of Black Dog by Led Zeppelin. Please also make sure to also like and subscribe so you get daily notifications when my videos come out. And I hope to see you guys again in the next reaction video. Take care. Bye-bye for now.